10 will complete the lineup. Set. And they're off. They race away. Seven furlongs is the trip then for this Dubai duty free stakes as they begin. Symphony Perfect in green and red is the first one to show in all blue while Beauty is in a prominent position. Red Jacket of Benefits quite keen behind the leader. Next to her in yellow sleeves is Barber Nera. Nazan is in green on the extreme left and next to her in dark blue and yellow is Jumbly who's in company with Miss Carolan. Almost all white colours with a red cap. About three from the right. The white face of best turned out when a heat of the moment Adelez in pink is next uh, black and white jacket the nose banded majestic glory uh, races alongside Shara and Eve Lodge in grey and black colours is at the rear of the field as they make their way down to halfway already off to the right is Symphony Perfect showing just in front Benefit and Barbanera give chase more to the left in blue is Wild Beauty with Miss Carolan Adelez in the centre pink sleeves coming into it nicely Shara behind these Jumbly is three from the left going okay at this stage and then comes Majestic Glory Nazan in behind these but still Symphony Perfect shows out in front, here comes Jumbly and Wild Beauty to us, nearest to us with their challenges, Barbanera is behind those, the yellow sleeves Eve Lodge is running on in the closing stages they race up towards the line Wild Beauty in the blue the darker blue of Jumbly, Wild Beauty wins, Jumbly in second very tight third, uh, Symphony Perfect was there in company with Barber Nera and nearest to us, Majestic Glory. Will Buick successful with Wild Beauty. Will, well done. Take me through it. Yeah, um, obviously she won over a mile last year, so we knew that this would be sort of the bare minimum of, of, of a trip, really. So, you know, Charlie was just adamant that he'd want to be forward and positive. And, uh, you know, not, you know, he was expected to come under pressure early, but she went through the gears lovely and uh, she got headed and she came back. You know, she... She um, showed her stamina and, and her determination. So, um, group one winner last year in, in a race that really worked out well, you know. So, um, um, yeah, she, it's, it's great to get her back to winning ways as a three-year-old. If you could pick ground, is that sort of what, what she wants, do you think? Yeah, it's, it's nice ground here, you know. It's just a sort of good, good ground, just a bit of sponge in it. So, um, probably, you know, nice ground for most horses. But uh, she's got, she has got a bit of any action. Um, although, although I do think she's quite versatile, really. Charlie had suggested earlier on the week that France would be the, the likeliest target um, with an eye that she, maybe she didn't handle the, the track in the Phillies mile. You rode her that day. Did, did she feel a bit more natural out there compared to Newmarket? Yeah, yeah, I suppose that, that's a fair comment. But, um, you know, it's the it's a end of a long season for her uh, in the Phillies mile, so um, what, where she will go, I'm, I'm not quite sure. But, you know, the options are certainly there for her now, so... Um, and, you know, I would suspect that she will improve plenty for this, this today as well, you know. Cheers, Will. Well Thank you. Thanks.